Well, you guys got a quick tech news video here for you. WordPad to be removed from Windows 11. Now, Microsoft has depreciated a lot of Windows features in 2023. One of them was WordPad, the default rich tech editor introduced 28 years ago, I think it was. Microsoft have finally decided to remove it completely from the operating system. They're not only at removing the product from the operating system. Normally, Microsoft, when they remove products like this from their operating system, they do offer a reinstall option where people can reinstall it if they want to. Unfortunately, for this particular application, you will not be able to reinstall it once it has been uh, completely removed from the operating system from Microsoft. It's completely dead and uh, they are not uh, continuing support for. WordPad anymore. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people that have used WordPad or still use WordPad, and uh, they're going to be pretty disappointed that it's being removed from uh, the operating system. Although there will be no official method to reinstall uh, the WordPad into Windows 11, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be some sort of enthusiast out there that's going to find a way uh, to reinstall that back on that operating system unofficially. Uh, you know, because that's what people do. But I wouldn't advise uh, using that method or even using that if that is the case, because it won't be getting any more updates uh, to that software. Now, there's plenty of other free options available that you can use. If you want to use something that's online, like Google Docs, you can do. That's pretty decent. But there's also other installable uh, Office suites like LibreOffice. This is a free alternative to Microsoft's Office suite which you can use and uh, it works perfectly fine and it is completely free. So if you want to use something like that, you can do and install that on your system. Another application for the chop is the uh, steps recorder. Now Microsoft is not fully removing uh, that from the operating system just yet, but there is already a banner with notification that the app is no longer in active development. As you can see here on Microsoft's website, it gives you all of the information here about the apps that they are going to be removing and any sort of changes that they're going to be making in the near future with the operating system. And unfortunately, as you'll see here, listed on here is the steps recorder. You can see the steps recorder here is no longer being updated and will be removed in the future release of Windows. For screen recording, we recommend uh, the Snipping Tool, an Xbox Game Bar, or Microsoft Clip Champ. But again, forcing you to use applications that you might not want to use is another annoyance. So you can see here, WordPad here is no longer being updated and will be removed in future releases of Windows. We recommend Microsoft Word. And again, you can use uh, the Office Suite online, but you just won't be able to install it on your system. So there is that option, which is free as well. But again, they are removing WordPad, which probably a lot of people did use. I wasn't one of them, maybe in the earlier days. On a more serious note, if you have watched Chris Titus Text, the best web browser for him, and uh, he made that video uh, some months ago, and I think it got way over 500,000 views. And that's a lot of influence on what the best web browser is, which was this, according to Chris Titus Tech. Unfortunately, there has been some bad light shed on this uh, browser itself. And uh, I would advise you to uninstall the browser if you have it installed on your system. He has made a recent video explaining a lot about what went on and the reasons why he's changed his stance on the best browser. And I think he has removed that video uh, from public view. Now, I will say that this particular software is open source and the problem with open source as i always tell people with any sort of open source or scripts or anything like that that you'll if you don't understand the code in it and you don't know what's in it you shouldn't use it and the reason why is because something like this has come to light where this had some bad stuff inside it and uh, unfortunately uh, it's probably been installed on a lot of people's computers now on the influence of uh, chris titus text video and of course with this being a browser there's privacy concerns and other concerns as well with what's embedded in the code. And there was actually some bad stuff in there which was embedded in the code, images and stuff like that, which was not uh, appropriate at all. And again, you can do your own research on that. I'm not going to go too deep into it because it's already been covered by other people. Although 
uh, lightly glossed over because of the topic. But other than that, uh, I would say that, uh, you know, with people recommending stuff, having the best of something, if you've not used it for any length of time and it's an open source project and you haven't checked the code uh, of that particular project and you're backing it, then that is a serious thing to do on the internet because at the end of the day, people are going to uh, take your word for things. They, you're influencing people and they're going to install that on their system. And that's the downside of being a YouTuber, influencing others who worship every word you say. And of course, they then go and install things on the strength of what you've said in your video. And when you're talking about an open project, which is to do with a browser, which is an actual browser you're going to be surfing the web with and signing into uh, banks and sensitive websites, there's a privacy concern there who is actually monitoring the actual browsing information and things like that. And there was also some pretty bad stuff embedded in the code, images and things like that, which was not good. And uh, of course, uh, I would advise you to definitely uninstall that browser if you have it on your system. Now, GitHub is a place where there is tons of projects that are really decent and really uh, interesting projects on here. And I would say to people that if you are looking to run a script or any sort of project from someone or program, understand what you're doing and the risks that could be involved if you're running that on your system. As I've always said, it's a real dangerous thing if you don't understand what code is and what it's doing and you're just clicking on a button. What I find strange is how Chris has always said that don't use custom ISOs like Tiny11 because they can contain uh, malicious code in them. And then he goes and recommends an open source project browser, which you're going to be searching the web on, titled called The Best Browser. And of course, it gets 500,000 plus views. And of course, it turns out to be a bit of a stinker. Now, on further research, I found the video unlisted. And unfortunately, with it being unlisted, it means it's still viewable to general public who have the link. This video has been posted on many different sites. And this is how I found this video. Unfortunately, with the video still being viewable and visible, it means there's ad revenue that can still be made on this video. And also, the worst part is it means people can still go by the advice that was in this video to download it and install it which simply isn't good enough. And the video should have been completely deleted because if you look at the comment that he left, it clearly states that this is now unlisted based on the project not being updated and YIF being included in the about page. There was also illicit content buried in the project's miscellaneous folder on GitHub. Now, if you go ahead and search on the internet, because it's got so many views, people have shared it on websites like Reddit and other sites. And that means because it's unlisted, the link is already there, which means it can be played and people can still install this on the strength of what was said in that video. The video should be deleted completely to stop people from going ahead and downloading and installing this software on their PC on the recommendation that you made in that video. But then, of course, that will affect the views of that video because that video will still get views and still earn you ad revenue, which means you're still promoting that browser on your channel because the video is still viewable on links that have been previously shared. Now, what surprises me that you know there's bad content inside that browser and yet the video is still viewable on the internet and still easily viewable on sites that have shared it previously, which means it's gonna to continue to grow in size and then continue to earn you ad revenue. That's not the real problem. The real problem is if you don't want your name attached to it, then maybe you should have deleted the video. So the lesson learned here is don't always take what YouTubers say as gospel and go ahead and just go and install stuff on your PC. Do your own research and make sure that you know what you're getting into. Let me know in the comment section below whether you knew anything about this browser and whether you knew anything that was going on. I'll be interested to read your comments. And also, if you do have it on your system, it's probably wise to uninstall it. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you on the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.